This video is the first of three tutorials showing you how to make a 3D model of a toy plane using SketchUp. So by the end of the third session, you'll have completed your 3D model, have incorporated your own design input. For this session, uh, the learning objectives are to further advance your CAD skills in SketchUp. We'll be focusing on three new skills. So the first one is that you will be able to draw objects to scale. That means using dimensions that are specific to the component that you're making. And we're gonna learn how to make and edit components so that we can take them apart and assemble them and change them and we'll also be using the offset tool which you'll see more of in the video when building the 3d model of the toy plane i will be referring to these dimensions so as you can see we've got a sort of third angle orthographic projection here and You've got the body of the plane that is 200 by 40 millimeters. So they are the main dimensions there. We've got the wing, which is 40 millimeters by 10. And again, I'll be referring to those in the video. This is the first of two videos in which I'll be showing you how to make your toy plane in SketchUp. <clears throat> so I need two uh, things here. I obviously need to have SketchUp and the PowerPoint file. This one that kind of goes through the, the tutorial. And the reason I need this one is because it has the dimensions that I need to use so you'll need this you and you can choose how you want to work through this you might want to watch the tutorial and then use that to go through while you make it or you might want to watch the tutorial and then follow the instructions here it's completely up to you how you want to do that so let's get started first thing we need is we need to get this done we need to make the sort of the main part and it's i can see there it's 200 by 40. So by now you should be used to doing, uh, drawing things to a particular scale and using dimensions. I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to just click and drag. It doesn't matter what size it is for now because I will click and drag and then I will just type in 200, 40 and enter. One of the things before I go any further is just make sure you are actually working in millimeters. So if you click on this, it's like an eye with a, uh, inside a circle, you click on it and it says uh, inches here or feet. That's not correct. You need to make sure that you're working in millimeters. In terms of precision, precision, zero is fine. Okay, going back to our drawing, so we can. Uh, minimize that for now. I'm going to use, I've just grabbed the push pull tool and I'm going to grab this and drag it up by 40. And I can do that manually, just checking on my distance in the bottom right hand corner, or I can actually just type in 40 and enter. Okay, so that's the main bit. Then let's go back. And now we need to figure out where we're going to put this um, this cut. And it says 50-40. Okay, so we make a rectangle, 50-40. I'll show you what that means. Rectangle tool, and I'm going to zoom in now and position it. And I'm going to click here and go down 50. And across, that's 40. So let's just get that lined up, 50, 40. And what that does is it gives us this line, which is our reference point then for drawing the next bit. 
which is 40 by 40. There we go. Now I need to drop that down and the thickness of the uh, material that we're going to uh, use for the wings is 10 mil. So I need to drop this down by 10 mil so that when we attach the wings, the top sits flush. So I've used the push pull tool and I've just dragged that down to 10 mil. I'll also need to do that for the bottom. So underneath, I can do that now. Rectangle tool, drag 40 and 50. And then 40 and 40. Push pull. And drag that up by 10. There we go, 10. So it's going to go like that. Wings going to go. Going to wings are going to go here. We'll have the stabilizers at the back. Let's see what the next step is. Okay. So this is going to be for the stabilizer. And when you make the plane, you're going to be using a mortise and tenon joint. So we need to make the mortise essentially 60 by 40 this time and then we're going to use the offset tool 15 millimeters and we're going to drop it down 10 so let's see how that goes so 60 by 40 15 and 10 back 60 by 40 Right, it's clicking onto the midpoint there, so I've had to zoom in a bit so it doesn't snap onto that midpoint. 60 by 40. And then what was the uh, what was the offset? I think it was 15, wasn't it? 15. And then push pull. And drag that down by 10. 1, 0, enter. I don't need this line anymore, so that needs to go. Either a razor tool, or just undo that. You can just use the selection tool, select the line, and press delete on the keyboard. And then zoom out, so I can see the whole piece. Use the pan, so that's hold down the scroll wheel, and press shift you can also do that just remember you've got all these options here orbit pan and then you've got your zoom options okay what's next we need to make it a component that's easy click and drag over the whole thing Hover over the object, right click, make component, and we'll just call it body. Now what's the next stage? Okay, the next stage is to make the wings. Okay, so we'll make the wings and then see how much time we've got left. The wings are 200 by 40, and then they're 10 mil thick. 200 by 40 and 10 mil thick. So, rectangle tool. Now I'm looking at the, the um, which way round the dimensions are. So although I've just said 200 by 40 here, they're clearly showing up as the other way around. So I'm going to type in 40 comma 200. Otherwise it's going to put the wing the wrong way, the wrong way around. Done. Push pull. 
drag that up by 10. We need to make that a component as well. Yeah, make component. Okay. So let's make that component. We know how to do that. I'm just going to rotate it in a way so I get a better view without overlapping this one. And wing. And I'm going to need two of these, but I'm going to copy this component. And then if I edit this one, it will edit the other one as well. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Now, I find the best way to position this is to know where you want it. Get a position where you can it will snap on to a certain point. So I'm going to first grab this and put it there. So I know that's lined up now, and that almost gives me a point of reference. This is 40. That, um, the width of this here is 40 millimeters. The wing is 200. So I need 80 on either side. 80 plus 80 is 160. 200 minus 160 is 40, which is the width of this. So I'm going to move this along 80 and that should make it central. So move it along, type 80. Okay. And there we go. It's in the right position. Now it might actually be easier to make both pieces first. Well, we'll just see. How far does this want to go down? Yeah, 30 millimeters. So I've grabbed it by that point. I'm going to drag it down and I'm just going to tap control on the keyboard. There we go. And that makes a copy. So when I first, I think I did it without thinking, to be honest. So I've grabbed it, tap control, and it makes the copy. There we go. Now, just to quickly show you, and we'll come back to this. And anything I do to this piece as a component, if I decide I want to cut off a corner, as you can see, it will do it to the other piece as well, which is quite useful. You can you can get rid of. You want you copy a component and then you no longer want it to be the same component. That's quite easy to sort out. You just click on the component you no longer want to be the same right click and make unique once you've done that it won't it won't kind of copy the changes that you make to that original component so there we go we've got main parts of our plane there and I think we'll leave it there for this video in the next video show you how to make the stabilizer at the back and we'll also make a few little changes to the shape make add our own little design touch to the plane and then we'll also render it